All right, going for another ride today while we still got snow here in Minnesota. You know, it's uh, one of those fleeting things. You have it or you don't, depending on the year. So, uh, got a couple channel sleds here. We got the Grape Ape going out. You know, we, we did a little ride with it yesterday. And Brad's Ultra XCR. Both of them, we, we took them on about a 16-mile shakedown yesterday. And uh, they both work good. So, it uh, seems like a good idea today. And then, of course, over here, another channel sled. We got the purple-headed snow warrior ready to rip, or so we hope. And then we got our buddy Doc with us today on a sort of vintage ZL Articat. So, uh, 440. So, uh, that's what we got going on the ride today. Hang on, and we'll make some good snowmobile sounds for you.
We made it to our destination and holy cow, groom trails! Yeah, <laughs> groom trails. That Woo. was nice. First time I've seen groom trails for a while. I forgot my kidney belt at home. <laughs> the ditch the ditch banging was a little rough. It's a little rough. But yeah, once we rough. hit the groom trails, wow. Oh yeah, that's like a highway. Yep. Everybody <laughs> is everybody sled running good? How's the XDR Ultra? Running great. Yeah, how's the uh Nope. The purple headed warrior isn't got, doing good. I got no. I just got no top end. Can you get up? Huh. I can pinch it all the way to the bars, and I can't do more than about 45, 50 at oh, the max. Huh. We better check your spark plugs. Fully yeah. pinched. I think you got a fall plug. Let's check that quick. Doc, how's the kitty cat? Kitty cat's roaring. Yeah. Runs good. <laughs> all right, we're gonna check Lonnie's <laughs> plugs <laughs> here and go in and get a beverage. <laughs>
Well, since I'm the only one that knows where we are, I'm going to drive the purple-headed snow warrior back the rest of the way. We're going to get a trailer. So we think we might have figured out what my fuel problem was. Yo, she so, is full of some kind of tar, black tarry crap that who knows. It looks like it smokes. All that black yeah. was in the line. Yeah, we most it up of that in, was in the line. Into the filter. Yep. So, so it was actually obstructing the line. So what we're going to do is we're going to reroute his fuel system so we can put a bigger filter on somewhere that's more accessible. Yeah, it doesn't like being behind that air box. I mean, this sled's been together like this for years now, so there can't be much more of it left in there, can there? Uh, nope. We'll just start running it and we'll find out, I guess. Yeah, we'll find out. <laughs> I, I just, oh. I'm, okay, wait a minute. Look at this. Lonnie gets an A-plus for fuel filter serviceability. <laughs> <laughs> it, it took us a minute, but uh, and there was some... some uh, good-natured engineering debate over what was going to be the right way to go on this, but that compared to that, I think we're in pretty good shape. It's it's also a lot easier to monitor in case we get more buildup. You think? Instead yeah. Of stuck behind the air box. Couldn't see it where it was. So <laughs> Not at all. this is That's awesome. A whole lot better. And then you would be have this great video. Well, let them see. It. Good yeah. grief. It just had some, well, it just had a little bit of stuff in the filter there. No big deal. What the what? hell is it? It's not a co It's not coffee. It. It's just like rust? It's rust. It's it's rust. It's from a plastic tank. How could you have rust? And there must have been some metal in there or something. That is I definitely wonder, I wonder, rust. I wonder if the cl one of those, the clamp fell off and turned and, to rust. And turned clamp. to rust. The yes. Old, the old pickup was gone, no. if I remember right. Two oh, maybe it had a steel weight the on the steel, bottom. The steel clamp to hold the, the, the or the the filter on the end of the line. Yeah. yeah. So it did not have that on there. And then uh. you get water in the tank. It sits in there, and all it does is rust. Mystery solved. Sort of. Turns into this. Rust from a plastic fuel tank. Gotta have a source. Twenty bucks. We'll sell it to you. Yeah, we might have found the problem. Doc says, why is your belt so loose, Nutter? I'm not sure. Yeah, there might be a bearing issue right there. I'm just, you know, I mean, I But well, luckily, what do we got right here? We have another one. We it's good to be that. Nutter. <laughs> <laughs> so how did we get that O-ring in there? Yeah, we lubed it. We lubed it with nutter butter. <laughs> All right, come here. right in. Come yeah. here and watch how loose this belt is, Lonnie. This should yeah. not kill a bearing. And that's how tight it was. So it was just <sighs> its time. It had to have it, been its time. It just, it just has to put enough power there to spin the pump, which is almost nothing. Yeah. So basically, it only needs to be tight enough to not fall off. Right. Which is what it is. Yep. So this is going to take about a million pumps because there is only air in the system and air is much more compressible than coolant. But we are going to make sure that we don't have any leaks. I love that noise. Seven. We're going to go up to 14. Going out. Go all out. It's going to blow, blow it out. All right. Now we watch for it to leak down and have a beer. <laughs> okay, the microphone's pretty far away, so everybody talk a little louder than normal. Yeah, that you, like you're talking to me. Huh? What? Exactly. <laughs> Let me turn my head. <laughs> well, there you have it. The infallible nutter broke, but I'm already fixed. Lonnie's already fixed. We found out it was just rust. I have a new theory. I think it was his rusty fuel gauge that left that rust in there. So we're just going to keep changing filters every, I don't know, 
two to three years. It took about two years. <laughs> yeah, it took about two years. It took a little while. Yep, yep. And then, uh, I don't know, everything's going good. We're happy. Yeah. The, the grape ape and the purple headed snow warrior, the Ultra XCR. We're all going on a ride tomorrow. Doc, are you coming with? I might. All right. We're all, all going right. on another ride tomorrow. Tomorrow. Even after we had a breakdown and a degradation of De performance. <laughs> performance. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hey now. So, uh, <laughs> what do you got going there, Doc? A little Tennessee fire. So, truth be told, we did a little uh, closing already and cracked that. But... Oh. Uh, then we decided we needed to come back, fix the sleds, and do another closeout for you guys. All right, so, all right. Everything's fixed now, and life's good. And... <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, jeez. It's a good thing I come prepared. <laughs> to Lloyd. Cheers. <laughs> See you in the ditches. So uh, thanks to the patrons. And uh, everybody else, hit subscribe. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you in the ditches, on the trails, on the lakes. Hopefully not on the side. Hopefully not <laughs> sitting in a green puddle due to a failed water pump. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> you got the issue, let us know. We know how to fix it. In about Fast. 10 minutes. Yep. Thanks for watching. See you on the trails. Mm-mm-mm. <sighs> That's, That's got to be in there.